Hi folks, this is Peter Boykin, running for Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. I also run the website GoWriteNews.com, and uh, as well as I'm running for office, you can go to PeterBoykin.com. So, welcome to this new week in Joe Biden's America, where the unexpected continues to redefine our norms. First and foremost, a round of applause to, let me forget the right name right, but Cyanus Palacocas, Miss Nicaragua, for clinching the coveted Miss Universe 2023 title. And yes, let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that she is indeed a biological female. It's a sign of the times when such clarification is needed, considering the recent participation of two gentlemen, in this year's pageant. A decade ago, this wouldn't have even raised wouldn't even have raised an eyebrow. But here we are navigating new territories of inclusivity and identity. In the world of political sh- uh, shifts and notable events, we mourn the passing of Rosalind Carter, the indomitable wife of former President Carter, who gracefully impacted American society for 96 remarkable years. Her legacy will forever resonate in the fabric of our history. Meanwhile, in the Lone Star State, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has thrown his support behind the one and only Donald Trump. No surprises here, considering the political landscape. Speaking of political landscapes, Let's cast our gaze to the 1975 when Ronald Reagan announced his presidential bid. A pivotal moment, indeed, in the tapestry of American politics. And let's not forget the current GOP dynamics, where Trump's dominance remains unshaken, commanding a towering 58.9% average in the primary polls. DeSantis and Nikki Haley trail behind at 14.4 and 10.7, respectively. The numbers paint a clear picture of the continued influence of the former president in shaping the Republican landscape. Moving along. This week, whirlwind events in Joe Biden's America, where headlines echo a myriad of controversies and pivotal decisions. Continuing on, first off, a Colorado judge's ruling set a tone, allowing President Donald Trump's potential appearance on the 2024 ballot, thwarting the efforts of leftist activists who sought to remove him using the 14th Amendment grounds. This decision is set to stir political waters in the upcoming election cycle in 2024. In a monumental move, House Speaker Mike Johnson announced the public release of over 40,000 hours of Capitol security footage from the tremendous uh, January 6, 2021 events. This disclosure promises to shed new light on the events of that fateful day. Meanwhile, in Bethlehem, the symbolic city of Christ's birth, Palestinian officials are dismantling Christmas decorations, refusing to permit traditional holiday adornments And this action is such a historically significant location, raises questions and stirs emotions. I'm not very happy about that one. Meanwhile, tech giant Microsoft is making waves by hiring Sam Altman, the former CEO of OpenAI, after his abrupt departure from the AI company. This transition marks a significant move within the realm of artificial intelligence. However, amidst these developments, disturbing news surfaces as the brother-in-law of Stacey Abrams, the Democratic gubernatorial candidate from Georgia, faces serious charges, including human trafficking and offenses against a minor. Probably not get anything thrown at him. They probably just ignore that one. You probably haven't heard about it. In a rather perplexing turn of events, a Massachusetts high school cancels USA Day. From its spirit week, deeming it too politicized, sparking debates over patriotism and education. So apparently you can't be patriotic and care about America 
because it may be too controversial, really. Meanwhile, the Biden's administration uses an emergency authority, typically reserved for wartime, allocated a staggering $169 million for the development of electric heat pumps due to climate change concerns, raising eyebrows over the breadth of executive power. Seems like, as an executive, you can do whatever you want nowadays, in any way you can get it done. In a political landscape shift, the GOP secures control of every statewide office in Louisiana following a series of runoff races over the weekend, signifying a notable political reconfiguration. But on a distressing note, a Los Angeles father who defended his family from armed intruders has been stripped of his firearm permit, reigniting debates over the right to protect oneself and loved ones. Again, Second Amendment basically says you have the right to bear arms. And you're not supposed to take that right away. Lastly, tech behemoth Amazon makes strategic workforce adjustments, laying off hundreds of employees in its Alexa unit to pivot towards a sharper focus on artificial intelligence. You know, the same artificial intelligence just crushed a man to death. Uh, like last week, Sigmund Clean changing priorities within the company. Yeah, let AI do it. It's cheaper, right? Now, this week's assortment of headlines in Joe Biden's America presents a mosaic of controversies, political maneuvers, and societal debates, leaving us to ponder the intricate, intrigue, <laughs> intricate tapestry of our current societal landscape. So, this week in Joe Biden. So far, we have witnessed a blend of progress, remembrance, and a constant ebb and flow of political tides. As we navigate these diverse faucets, one thing remains certain. Change is the only constant. And the evolution of our society continues to unfold in unpredictable yet intriguing ways. This is Peter Boykin running for Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. And I'm going to probably start delivering at least these daily update headlines more frequently as time goes to get you kind of like a morning uh, boost of knowing what's going on. Some of these small headlines will probably turn into bigger stories. You can catch most of it on GoRightNews.com. And you can check out more po my political campaign at PeterBoykin.com. Please share this. God bless everybody. And let's make North Carolina great again.